Okay, I was going to do a quick toolbox tour of my Mac Maximizer tool cart. This is not the brand new one. Got this one used. Uh, this is the older version because it has a slightly recessed version of this. Uh, these have a really awesome feature, which is this shelf back here. So you can put all kinds of different stuff there. I break up the uh, Hover Freight magnets, these bars right here, and then use those individual ones to give myself some spots. Uh, I got this new stream light. That's really awesome. Um, let's see, I like all the real estate that this thing's got. It's got a bunch of spots for hooks and things like that. Plenty of uh, plenty of room here. It's uh, 41 inches wide, 25 inches deep, and the drawers are nice and deep on this. Like I say, got plenty of real estate up here. Ended up using one of these and in order to keep that uh, keep that space right here. I uh, like how this um, these screwdriver holes are set up. These are, the uh, only problem I have out of this right now is that my uh, long pry bar actually drags. I'm using my quarter inch drive Milwaukee's right here because I end up using those a lot. Um, just run through what I've got here. What I really enjoy is just how deep these drawers are. I've still got to reorganize, just got this about a week ago. I'm going to put a reverse set of uh, reverse wrench holder here so that I can utilize this space a little bit better. Uh, and then fix my line wrenches better up in here. And I'll transfer some from my HOMAC box uh, and put it in here so I can have all of them ready to go. Uh, got some torques and stuff like that here. Got the VIM set. It's a nice little complete set of... Uh, bits and stuff there and those are the half cut stubby bits and again this is just where the the depth of this comes in really handy because a bunch of your uh, put some of those again those magnets from Harbor Freight put those along the wall there on the back wall there and the side over here or stuff I'm not going to use on a constant basis of course all my ratchets here I need to come up with a better solution for this so if anybody's got any uh, better solutions for uh, storing a bunch of uh, odd sized uh, so or socket extensions and stuff like that. I uh, had all my Milwaukee's down here, probably end up adding some more uh, shallow sockets right in through here. But this works pretty good right now. Uh, I love, love, love these dividers. I think these are Ernst and um, they are fantastic. I think there's what, four or five of them. And I could easily fit another here. But now my uh, my Matco box that I had over here uh, was a little bit tight on on my plier drawer. Had just a little bit less room in this area here. But I like that for odd size stuff. And uh, these these plier racks are really pretty awesome. Fit pretty much everything you want. And the height of the drawer works really well for we're doing that. This is my electrical and diagnostic drawer. Um, and normally my uh, bag and four would be in there, but um, just charging it up right now. Um, I think I can add some more stuff to this and organize it a whole lot better, obviously, because uh, right now <laughs> everything's just shoved in here. But still, uh, this is it's surprising how much better the uh, the space is in this one versus the uh, Matco James down cart. Uh, I'm going to eventually add another holder on the side here, and then I think I'm going to end up coming up with some method of making uh, another spot so I could have five on each of these because that really would clear up some space, and then I could put some blow molded specialty tool those cases for those. I'm going to make a a rack for all of these because I just got these hammers I've had that one for a little bit this one of course is a really good tool I've even reviewed that previous it's a fantastic uh, 17 belt tool uh, I see two really good deep drawers and I've got a bunch of blow molded cases that I'm gonna end up putting in this one I just want to uh, consolidate only the ones that I'm going to use on a steady basis I think I'm probably gonna put my 
radiator pressure tester in here so but I think this is a really cool cart for the uh, certainly for the money that I paid which I paid about 1200 got it used and uh, pretty pretty good shape uh, really I tweaked a couple little things here and there uh, these these are really awesome so if you've got one of these carts and you're on the fence about this I think it's only like eighty dollars on uh, on uh, uh, Max website, so like seventy six plus or whatever shipping is going to be for that. Found a little cubby for my uh, for my prop rod, hoop prop rod, but uh, these fit a lot of stuff. Now some of the real stubby stuff this is a Maco one that I got here a few weeks back. I love this. Um, that's obviously too stubby for the nose of it to hold down in there. So that one and then the M12 stuff fits pretty well just slid, sliding down in there so the other cool part about this is the work surface on top I would drop it down but it is uh, I've got way too much stuff on the back of this and I'd have to undo a bunch of stuff here but that's just a quick overview quick uh, view of these uh, Mac Mac tools uh, maximizer carts just uh, I'll do that one and then I'll probably end up doing a comparison video because uh, I'm going to sell my uh, James Down car at the green one here to uh, one of the guys that works here. And uh, probably end up uh, just doing a comparison video, doing some measurements across uh, the two of those and let you see the difference in them. So anyway, just thought I'd share that.